Now, ahead of the day five of the parliament session, no confidence motion has been moved by the Congress party. Now, Congress leader Gaurav Gogoi has moved this motion. So, big breaking news that's coming in ahead of the day five of the parliament session today. The Congress party has moved no confidence motion and uh, Congress leader Gaurav Gogoi has uh, moved this no, no confidence motion. Let's listen in to what Manikam Tagore has to say on this. What was the need to do something like this and uh, could you give us detail about moving the no confidence motion? Who, which party is doing it? Uh, we had been for the past four days, we had been asking the uh, in parliament, both the houses, we are demanding for the Prime Minister Modi to come to parliament and make a statement on, Gujara, uh, on Manipur issue. And we had been continuously raising this issue, both the houses are adjourned for that thing only. And uh, the ruling government particularly is not interested and uh, we want Modi, um, uh, Mr. Modi to speak in parliament. Mm. He has not spoken in, uh, he was speaking outside the parliament on first day mm. to the media people. Mm. Yesterday he spoke to the right side of the building, he spoke in the library building to the BJP MPs. Why he is afraid to speak in parliament? Mm. We want on Manipur issue, Prime Minister should come and speak. For that we will do whatever last opportunity we have it also we will try that also the first step of pass of approaching the speaker and moving it which party is doing that the for in this things we are very clear that we want honorable prime minister to make a statement and i can say to you that congress uh, northeast mp and um, the deputy leader of congress gaura gogoi will move the motion Our senior editor Pallavi Ghosh is joining us on this story. Pallavi, a very good morning to you. So the Congress party has now moved the no confidence motion against the government. What happens next? The news now in, of course, is that a no confidence motion has already been submitted. So the rule is that a no confidence motion has to be submitted uh, before the House reconvenes, which is at 11 a.m. Now, this has to be corroborated by at least 50 MPs. So what will happen is that once the Speaker says that I've received a no confidence motion, I need it to be corroborated by at least 50 MPs. Those 50 MPs will then and say, yes, we, I support the idea of the no confidence motion. Then it goes up to the Speaker whether he accepts the motion to be moved or not. Ultimate priority also remains, or prerogative remains with the Speaker on the ground that, you know, whether he accepts the motion, he finds it relevant or not. Now, if you look at it from the point of view of the opposition, why are they doing it? They are doing it simply, and as Manikam already, Tagun has already said, is because he wanted the Prime Minister to speak, and he's not been speaking. But if a no-conference motion is moved, then your government comes under scanner and the ultimate reply will have to be given by the head of the government, which happens to be the Prime Minister. And this was the only way we could have got the Prime Minister to speak. So now clearly knives drawn, battle lines are very drawn and the you know, schism between the two sides have also deepened. But Pallavi, what is the point of bringing a no-confidence motion against the government, which has uh, one of the biggest majority in the Lok Sabha? No, I, I, I mean, in terms of numbers, it's not that the opposition is unaware of the fact that uh, it is likely to be defeated. But the point is precisely what we were talking about and what Manikam Tagore has also gone on record to say that we have been asking for the Prime Minister to speak in the last four to five days but he has not been speaking. The only way we can make him speak inside the Lok Sabha is in case of a no-confidence motion because, you know, what happens in a no-confidence motion, essentially the resolution says we have no confidence in this government. This motion is put to vote after discussion. Discussion takes place with time being given to every MP of every political party party and the ultimate reply has to be given by the prime minister when he rejects the motion and the reasons why he feels that there's no confidence is invalid though opposition's calculation is that if this motion is accepted by the speaker even if it's rejected even if it's defeated at least you'll get the speaker to uh, at least you get the prime minister to speak on the floor of the house also pallavi do we have any reaction from the center side on this They've always found it irrelevant. In fact, yesterday when this word came out that a no-confidence motion is going to be moved, they said that, you know, it is irrelevant. In fact, the BJP started to tweet out slowly of uh, evidence that, you know, the Prime Minister had said around five years back that there would be a no-confidence motion moved against him. Negative campaign of the opposition is a point which the Prime Minister has repeatedly made. Yesterday also he said this, that the opposition is directionless. Therefore, they'll always be in opposition. They want to remain in opposition. So I don't think in terms of numbers, the government is worried about at all. 
Also, by the way, yesterday, uh, Home Minister Amit Shah also wrote to uh, Leader of Opposition Malik Arjun Khadge and Adhir Ranjan Chaudhary to have comprehensive discussion on Manipur. Can you tell us more about it? So, the, the, the letter essentially talked about a comprehensive discussion on Manipur, but the insinuation also was there that a response to it would be given by the nodal ministry. And the nodal ministry happens to be the home ministry in this case. And uh, this is something which has been rejected by the opposition parties. It was a detailed letter talking about the situation on the ground, the steps being taken by the government. And, while, and the government and his ministry would want to update the house on what is really happening on the ground. Uh, th that is, of course, has been completely rejected. Rejected. The opposition says we want the Prime Minister to speak and no less. And with the no-confidence motion being moved, this is really the reason behind it. All right, Pallavi, please stay with us. We also have CNN News 18's Payal Mehta joining us on this story. Payal, so no-confidence motion has been moved by the Congress. Uh, now, what can be expected today? Well, uh, if the no, no confidence motion is allowed, then you obviously will have a detailed discussion on it. And of course, uh, given the fact that the Prime Minister is the, is the head of the government, the opposition demand probably, you know, they say that they have no choice but to, uh, you know, move the no confidence motion. Otherwise, there's no way they would make the Prime Minister speak. So, obviously, they are expecting that the Prime Minister would really reply as far as that is concerned. But, you know, politically speaking, you know, in 2018, exactly in the month of, uh, in July, in during a monsoon session, a no confidence motion was moved by the TDP, which was, uh, which was breaking out of the alliance by back then. And we saw really, really what transpired after that. And we saw the results in 2019. So, yesterday, Prahlad Joshi when asked this question, the Parliamentary Affairs Minister said the same thing, that you know, last time around, we got a 300 plus majority, and this time around, if the opposition is making this uh, sort of uh, move again, we're expecting that the you know, public will bless us with 350 plus seats. So that's the kind of confidence that, that, the, that the Modi government really has in terms of the work that they've done, and that the opposition does not have any face uh, to show to people anymore. Also, Payal, do you think the opposition is undermining their own cause of having a discussion on the Manipur issue by being adamant on their demand and not having a discussion even when the centre has time and again said that it is ready to have a discussion? Well, these are pressure tactics that, you know, every opposition party will follow and this is no different as well. So, obviously, on one front, the government is saying that we are not running away from the debate. You saw the Home Minister say this on the floor of the House, saying that people are watching what you're doing and you're going to pay a price for it. So, obviously, uh, the government has said that Home Minister is the appropriate authority. He's no less uh, the uh, he's no less an authority in the government, given the fact that he's probably number two or number three in the whole uh, system after the Prime Minister. So he's willing to give a detailed response to this, but the opposition seems to be dragging its feet. They first wanted a response from the Prime Minister, but when the Prime Minister spoke ahead of the start of the monsoon session, then they said, why did the Prime Minister speak outside and not within the House as well? So obviously these are the demands that have been coming in. But, uh, you know, the, the government has been saying that, you know, this is not going to stop here. They will expose the opposition and their design even outside mm. parliament as well. They'll take it to the people saying that these are the opposition parties who rent a cause, who talk about issues one after the other, but, you know, they won't, would do it only for their own politics. So it's quite a face-off that we've really seen. In the earlier session, it was about Adani report, uh, before that was something else as well. So obviously, it's a rent a call by the opposition. They're not really interested uh, in a serious discussion on Manipur. That's the, that's the line that the government will really take.